hello, 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 hello. Just gonna hold for a moment, but um, turns out we are pretty darn close to the end of this. Um, which would be amazing. Um, so, let's see here. Um, yeah, right now, everyone's doing pretty good. Hey, Seth. Um, good God, look at, uh, Cryley's attack, um, Ability 253. Yeah. So. Hey, sir. Now that we've um, uh, unlocked all the um, special weapons, um. There's this little place here in the ocean. And if we head down here... Ah! Yeah! Some incredible force is coming up from the seafloor! Oh no! All oh, that mode set of... Oh yeah. Yeah! It's like being, uh, time and space are being twisted. It's sucking us in! And this is why you should be wearing a seatbelt, folks. You finally arrived. Uh, come on. Let's check it out. Let's head down here. The door slams shut. It seems the door can only be opened from the other side. Great. Oh! Crystals. Resting within the shard of warrior's spirit. Oracle has been undone. Resting within the shard of warrior's spirit. We've got a gladiator! And finally, resting within the shard, the warrior spirit. Here we got a cannoneer! So these are three of the four um, extra classes that were included in the uh, Game Boy Advance version of the game. Huh? I'm a traveling merchant, ever searching the world for rare and wonderful items. Recently, my ship was caught in a big storm. I watched up here. On the bright side, a serious cavern under the sea just bound to be full of great loot, or so I figured. Yeah. Oh, you kids have got those crystal fragments, huh? That's the rarest of the rare. Oh, and it seems like you don't even understand what powers are hidden inside those shards, huh? Alrighty then, I'll tell you. First are oracles. They have the power to predict, foretelling helpful or harmful phenomena that will happen to themselves or those around them. Earthquakes, tsunamis, illness, all those can be predicted and made to befall enemies. But be careful, sometimes they'll affect the oracle of themselves. As for the necessary conditions to spark each phenomena, well, that's something you'll have to figure out for yourself. Predictions come in three ranks. Higher ranks take longer to come true, but have much more drastic effects. Like they say, good things come to those who wait, right? Anyway, after a little practice and maybe a little luck, effectively using predict will be a breeze. Next, we got gladiators. Gladiators fight like they were born with a blade in their hands. Between their blaze blitz technique and their finishers, they've got the power to take down almost any foe. Last but not least, the cannoneers. 
these explosive experts use their ability to combine uh, to always get the most bang for their buck. Combine lets cannoneers put together ammunition with various other items to cause different effects. There are three types of ammo. Bug shot, blast shots, and blitz shot. Try combining different ammo with different items to see what happens. And actually, I'd love to help you guys start it by selling you some ammo right now, but I'm all sold out. How about this? I'll go talk to my supplier, and I'll be more than happy to help you with all your ammunition needs. I'm always on the go, so look for me when you're in towns or castles. Usually lurking around the equipment shops. Gotta keep tabs on the competition. I hope this is the beginning of a beautiful and profitable relationship. See you around. Okay. Well, actually. Switch them all. Press it? Sure. Doesn't seem to be working. Huh. It's pitch black inside. You can't enter. Rats. Not open. Unsealed by mysterious power. I'm guessing this is post game stuff here. Got to be a maximum cannoneer. But became a maximum oracle. Not that any of this matters. Kryle. Riley became a maximum uh, uh, gladiator, and Lena also became a maximum oracle. like 43 or so and then if we go to uh, load state and we take a look at what we've all um, learned so Ferris has become a level 3 Oracle and maxed out both Cannoneer and Gladiator but has become a level 4 um, Oracle, a level 2 Cannoneer, and has not touched Gladiator. Uh, Crylee has become a level 4 Gladiator, level 3 Oracle, and a level 2 Cannoneer. I know I'm trying to keep Crylee away from um, magic, um, but I needed to get her to level 3 Oracle. And Lena's level 4 Oracle, level 2 Cannoneer, and level 0 Gladiator. So... With, um... Uh, Oracle and Cannoneer. Cannoneer gets you experience up, which gives you 1.5 experience points per battle. And Oracle gives you, um... 1.5 um, job points, or APB as they call it in this. Um, not too bad. Um, Gladiator gives you Finisher, a powerful strike whenever it hits an enemy, attacks its weak point for massive damage. And more importantly, Blade Blitz, attack all enemies. Um, cannoneers combine, mix and fire off explosives that damage all enemies. Gonna be useful. Uh, 
And, um... Not sure if I got any other abilities, but I don't think it's anyone that we're gonna be too concerned with. Oh, I want you with the Excalibur. Crystal Shield. Crystal Helm. Crystal Armor. And a power on Also gave uh, Kryly Lamias Tierra, Tierra that inspires the performance of Sword Dance. So it's possible that she'll just at some point um, just do a massive amount of activity. Now, before we continue on the plot, there's um, some more uh, sucked in. Good. You get a free ride. Here we go. Uh, yeah, what I wanted to do at all. Okay, cool. <laughs> Definitely want to drop a uh, save game here. Ah! Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Ah! Probably can hold my breath. Glup, glup. Only for about seven minutes. of this tower.
that's better. God. Okay, I got another seven minutes. Hey, I found air. Okay, didn't know that was actually there. Preemptive strike. taken the first two acts, but now an amazing power of this crystal shard has is within my com competent grasp. I shan't allow you to take it, so turn back and be gone. No! Tis tis, but let the curtain rise! My name is Gogo. Hey Gogo. Mimic extraordinaire. The basis no, the very soul of mimicry. Its ability to aptly imitate anything, no matter the situation. Thusly, I will imitate your every move. When you attack, I will attack. When you cast a spell, I'll cast a spell. Could you imitate me? You'd certainly win. More likely, it'll be curtains for you. Golgo is in Six. He is actually a recruitable character in Six. Actually, before... Yeah. I would like to do Thank you. 
Just lovely. You've seen me doing nothing. And are copying that nothing yourselves. Y yeah, rather. You're doing perfectly nothing. Perfectly. Y yep. Yes, you feel it. The emphasis of mimicry. I give you my blessing. To continue the true path of imitation. Adieu. Break leg. Thrown into the rift. Victory! As when the shower of the warrior spirits. Mine! And we definitely can't run that fast. have the ability to do three um, things. So, uh, yeah, they, you get rid of um, fight and it turns into a um, ability here. Same with item. Um, so I want you So time magic white magic I want you to have black summon blue maybe um predict. Vegas Rod. Aegis Shield. Miter. Oh, 
Okay. Do I want to make Ferris into a... No, because... Without... Yeah, Ferris... Basing a lot of stuff off of using swords, so yeah. So mimic black summon predicts. Great magic, but eh. Okay, so I think got a few more things I'd want to do. as we are going to try to walk around the entire world. Sure, I'm sure it's like checkpoints somewhere. I don't have to do uh, like clockwise or counterclockwise. Okay, it doesn't mention if I have to go, you know, clockwise or anti clockwise, so. my journey from here, so that should help a lot.
you have to get attacked or something. Really around the whole world. You're nuts, mister. Still a promise, a promise. Receive the Mirage Vest. Okay, nice. Cracks enemy is creating an illusionary double. Not terrible. Increases your magic defense. Lowers your strength though, only by one though. That decreases your defense by quite a bit. Increases your magic though by two. Yeah, let's give that to Cryley. A bit, yeah. Okay, so we got the Mirage Vest. We've got the Mimic Ability. Um, we've got the, um, three of the four, uh, Game Boy Advance exclusive jobs. The fourth one is post-game. Um, really only a few things we have left to do. Yeah, we've got that tower to go for. That's also... Thank you. 
Let's gain a level. Yeah, what are... Yeah, 44. Not too bad. Oh, I've still got you on steel. Ow. And I guess give yourself a flare uh, rod. Specialty helmet, which doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Phoenix Tower, first floor. Okay. The first enter the tower seems to know where to go. Check directly in front of the entrance by the staircase. Yep. The note and sure. Apparently. Okay, magic pot is something different. Uh -huh. 
give me some elixir. Okay. Yay, yippee! Victory! Received a hundred ability points. Yep, that's the only reason why I've been doing this. Not that I particularly need uh, ability points, but hey, you know. Okay. Nothing more until the 10th floor. Oh, this is a long one. Yeah, it looks like that's sleep. Nice. Okay, tenth floor. Yep. I guess we gained most of, most of these elixirs from the beginning of the game when we did a lot of uh, level grinding, so...
Okay. It's the 100 ability points that I'm really more concerned with. Well... Um, yeah, except for the fact that, uh, both, uh, Krill or Kryli are, and Ferris are freelancers, so they don't get anything. Okay. Um, I'm wearing uh, gear that's keeping me um, from getting hit. Ow. Yeah. Okay, 15th floor. Take 1500 gil. Frog dance is cute. And probably. Okay. Thank you for making that simple. Hey, I'm at 59, 59 playtime. 17th floor. Next one's on the 20th. Haha! <laughs> okay, so that roulette ability is um, nasty. Cash. 
Another magic pot. Oh, thank goodness. Not that Mastering Mimic is going to mean much, because the main reason that I want um, Mimic is the ability to choose three abilities rather than uh, two, but... It's just nice! Have a ridiculous amount of kill. Very good question. Who's a beast? Hero. <coughs> this the wind drake that saved you? Oh, is this Windrake that saved you? Kiru, what are you doing? He says he wants to help you. Kiru! Hi, Ryu. Uh, pl plummeting isn't going to help us. What? Well, 
Lena. Kirio knew he didn't have much longer to live. Uh, jeez. That means in the ancient forest, when he saved me, it seems he came to this tower so he could lend you, uh, or help you with the last of his power. Kirio. Yeah, very dark. What do you mean, Mother's not gonna make it? Dear, the doctor did his best. Seems the only thing that could cure is a Windrake's tongue. Lena, what are you going with that knife? I certainly don't mean to. Stop! Sire, I'll go. Princess Lena, kill him. You'll finish off the last of the Windrakes. What's more, Queen Mother has always cared deeply for Hero. You still cut out his tongue? Yeesh! Uh, no. Princess, your father used to come here every day, debating on what to do, but... Perhaps it's for the best. Mother. Kira became a phoenix. Phoenix entrusted its power and its soul to Leda. Apparently, if you're just like, yeah, I'll, I'll cut out its tongue, you don't get this. Receive the summon monster Phoenix. Hiru, thank you. Okay. Let us teleport. Okay, no piano here. I saw you. Huge freak of dragon flying somewhere. Uh. North Mountain on big leathery wings. Yep.
Oh yeah. Okay. I think I did. tent in a cottage is, aside from being very expensive. Yep, one more, uh, summon left. Flowers are poisonous. Broken the seal. If you can best me in battle, I shall award you my power. Oh, 
Okay. Rapid fire. Spell blade. Flame sword. Flare sword. Fuck, mimic that. I mean, it's my fault, so... I should have started casting a lot more Reflect.
Tail noms. Uh, I guess you haven't missed much because um, I, I, I kind of kind of messed everything up. You're getting a little bit of different audio. Let's 
I will pay for these who can still do stay do 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 figured after having to redo all of that, we needed a nice, uh, bit of a musical interlude. Okay, so... How about let's go find Bahamut first? More defense. Okay, so, start off. We're dropping ourselves a naughty naughty here. You can beat my power. Yeah, give yourself a holy blade, even though Excalibur's already um, holy base. And how about let's give ourselves Carbuncle so we don't die. Okay, how 
How about we start with Blair? In the second round, we use Carbuncle, so I have some other spells actually going on. I think I also want to have Hestaga going on. Oh yeah, there's a lot of nasties. everything, I know that. Oh! There we go. Victory! See you 25 ABP. Learn Aqua Breath. Receive the summon monster Bahama! Game of You Second verse, same as the first. Yeah. 
good. Oh yeah. Position, heal thyself. Oh, 
guess sandals are useful. Okay, we just went through all of this already. Okay, let's also see what happens if we're a terrible, terrible person. You fool! Mother! Drakira became a Fina. So you can't not, but yeah, let's not be a, a terrible person. Okay. That cutscene, Samba de Chocobo. Okay, so. We have all 15 summons. Got all spell blades. We've got 
some blue magic I doubt we'll be using anytime soon. We've all got all the black spells. We've got all the white spells. Well. Can't go in there right in the Chocobo, that makes sense. Interdimensional Rift. Very cool. Thousand years we have sealed in, uh, been sealed in the river. Uh, I, once ex death, obtains the power of the void. A new world, a world of darkness, will be born! So, you're the bad guys. You 
even a thorn in Lord Exdeath's side for long enough, the void will be your burial ground. <laughs> okay. Paying some ether. Not a bad thing. Um, after we came out, we had to give away. And dark matter. Nice! Okay. Level checker, eh? Yeah, the parallax is pretty good. And, um... First gain a level? I mean, I could just drop another, uh, save here, because, uh... Just in case. Ah. Uh, I mean, yeah, probably. Hate an elixir. Gain a level. And luckily, old uh, stops at the end of battle. Obtain Blood Sword. Sword that saps targets uh, hit points. Yeah. Very useful. Actually, yeah, she does.
apparently these level checkers, um, yeah, all cast the, uh, level-based, um, spells. Um, what? Dragon thing. Okay. That's not quite the thing I wanted to get, but it's still good. Okay. 
Green Ribbon. Awesome. How many of those do we have at this point? Yeah, I think I missed one, but it's not the worst thing. No, it's just in a town that I don't think I went back to. that sometimes saps targets uh, MP, and it increases my magic. Yeah, you know what? Because um, you don't really do much in the way of uh, physical fighting. There we go. Uh-oh. 
these woods are so peaceful. Why don't you rest here? For all eternity. Reflect, yeah. Okay. That makes sense. A uh, uh, silent sword. How about everyone move faster? I didn't need to have uh, silence. Oh well. Victory! Team 20 APP! Behind the waterfall? Yep. An angel brain. Nice. I think I've got a few of those. Yep. Uh, aging and zombification. Not bad, but eh. And a coral ring. I know I've got some of those. Yeah. Better water abilities. Yeah. Here is an optional super boss. You know what? Yeah. We just saved.
Oh, we're probably gonna be toast, because, yeah. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. But I... Did... No. Did I? I must have. Oh well. Um... I'm just gonna get back to, uh, that point. And, um... Yeah. Um... I'm guessing next week we're probably gonna beat this game. Um... Yeah, Omega Rift... You'll encounter Omega once in the interdimensional rift drive to save points, and again in a secret dungeon. Omega has nearly impenetrable defense and a incredibly high chance of raiding and coming attack. In fact, you won't do any damage at all to stand physical attacks. Also, Omega is protected by reflect magic, so you can't uh, attack with direct spells. When you do strike Omega, the robotic beast will counterattack twice with either Rocket Punch or Encircle. Rocket Punch halves your HP and causes confused. Circle erases a body mer member completely for the duration of the bottle. The odds are dire. Don't fret, there is a way. Sign every member to the freelancer job. Offensive members should be wielding your most powerful swords with abilities set to Cell Blade and Rapid Fire. Sign one healer, uh, the white and blue abilities. Sign second healer, the white and time abilities. Okay. Uh, have your offensive party members cast Spell Blade. Uh, the Daga on the first round attack, Omega using Rapid Fire command. Okay, we put versus Lightning. Uh, keep this up as long as possible. Hope Omega doesn't cast a circle too often. Omega's <laughs> flurry of attacks will get almost immediately. Cast Mighty Guard on your party. Then have your healers cast Kiraga and Lightweight as frequently as possible. Okay. Well. Yep, that's a thing. Anyway. Uh, yeah. See you all next time. <laughs> Have a good one.